dear students today we are going to discuss 11th standard third chapter motion in a straight line okay so you know very well um, the previously you studied about the motion in your 9th standard okay in the 9th standard you know that you define the uh, types of motion and then the equations of motion that is v is equal to u plus a t plus equal to u t plus a t square then v square equal to u square plus 2 a v square equal to u square plus 2 a is concept okay and then you know there are different types of graph the graph between that is a velocity and the time and the distance and the time okay so with the different types of nature of the graph also you know with the different situation okay and then equations of motion the base of the equations of motion you know you derived and then solved so many problems also okay just to recapitulate that and then uniform and non uniform motion okay so this is an example uniform and non uniform um the regular interval of time the regular interval of time okay so the distance covered with the regular interval of time you know there is a uniform motion okay then uh, so we can say as a definition equal distance covered in equal interval of time or regular interval of time there is a uniform motion but an equal distance is covered with uniform what is the regular interval of time means there is a non uniform motion okay so like that kind of idea you learn from in the standard okay and then distance and displacement by the laws okay the difference no very well i hope okay uh, then the next level of the ninth standard motion chapter the next level would be that is motion in a straight line okay simply we call it as it is a one dimensional motion simply this is one d or it's a one okay so we will go on the four dimensions motion okay right so oh okay. in one dimensional motion okay you know from the word it is motion so how we can say it is motion okay so for example oh uh, this board is just position you know you feel it is just position correct or not yes how you feel it is a rest position because of me because i am in motion i am always in motion so if you observe this this board should be you feel it is a rest position correct or not now i am also in rest position the board also rest position so with respect to me the board is rest position with respect to the board the dimension also rest position okay so we have to compare whether it is motion or not we have to compare it with some other object only we can see okay so that comparison is here yeah, is is very important in this chapter that is a, that word due to the comparison i can do some other word that is a relative motion there is a relative concept okay relative with the some other word. okay so that knowledge i want to improve in your mind to be how to compare okay with a simple example so that will be the first topic see that that is motion in a relative chain the motion in a relative chain see that uh, that i want to discuss with you is a motion of an object is always with respect to some relation okay motion of an object is always with respect to some relation or otherwise the motion of an object is always with respect to some frame of reference some frame of the frame of reference say for example um let me take a you know this x axis this y axis let us imagine this is the x axis okay now i 
have to throw a ball from here. Okay. So now I throw a ball here. Now this ball is in this position. Okay. This is now the ball is here. So I can draw this diagram. So let us make it and we will come here. Okay. So if you observe that this ball or this object, some distance from some height from the x axis as well as some height from this y axis. Okay? Some height from this y axis. Then some distance from this z axis. Okay? So, this is known as the frame of reference. So, we have to refer, I have to refer from something. Okay, this is simply, see that it is on the board, okay? The two dimensions, okay? The three dimensions form, x, uh, and y, and z, it is a three dimensions form, okay? Maybe, which is, uh, which one is for you, okay? And otherwise, it's still working at the two dimensions, so it is a two dimensions form, okay? But the x and y axis, okay? This like it. it's like a black board. In this black board, let us imagine now one object is here. Okay, from the exposition, from the exposition, maybe it is within uh, half meter distance. Okay, half meter distance, point five meter distance. From the y axis, it is uh, maybe 0.7 meter distance. Okay, so this is the reference. Okay, so we have to refer with some other things. Okay, so that only I mention as a definition. Motion of an object is always with respect to some frame of reference or some relation. Okay, then how we can arrange? How to find? Okay, that is the introduction for this example. See that with the help of a diagram, I am going to explain that how it can be compared. Okay, with the help of the diagram, see that. Okay, see that this is our road. Okay. This road, uh, let us imagine one bus is moving. Okay, the driver seat. After that, uh, here one person is there sitting near the window. Okay, the person name P. Then back side seat one more person. Then this person name is Q. Okay, this is on the road. Now the bus is moving, so it's a road. Okay, right. Um, the bus will cross one bus stop. It's a bus stop. This bus stop, uh, the three members are standing on the family. Okay. And the father and the daughter and the son. Okay. They are standing in the bus stop. Okay. So, just I name as the as these three members are standing on the bus stop. Okay, so in this situation, then how to relate? How to compare? Okay, uh, the, those who are motion, or those who are rest, then how to compare? Okay, so I'm going to explain three things. The first point, see that? So people, okay, uh, listen. So people inside the bus. So please listen. So pupil inside the bus. Okay. Pupil inside the bus. Inside the bus motion. With the expert to ABC. See that. With the expert to ABC. With the expert to ABC. The bus is moving. The bus is moving means what? PQ also moving. That means what? The pupils will move. So the pupil inside the bus in motion. The pupil inside the bus will be motion with the next step to ABC. Condemnate. Because they are just standing in the bus stop. But now the bus is moving. Okay, thus the, move, the bus moving with the 50 km per hour. The same speed only, okay? those who are sitting in the bus, they are also moving with the 50 km per hour. Condemnate. Yes. So that is the first one. Then, let's come, come inside the bus. So I didn't compare the bus and the outside. The first person only, I can compare, I can, I can compare this bus, I can compare
after this bus and this ADC consistency. Okay? And the second one, see that now I can compare with the bus. See that. Okay, just now you are traveling in the bus. In front seat, you are sitting. In the back seat, uh, your father is sitting. Just you, you observe your father. With respect to you, your father is in the rest position. With respect to your father, you are rest position. Even the bus is moving or otherwise in twist. Okay? So, that only makes it here. P is at rest. With respect to Q, P is at rest. With respect to Q, as well as Q is at rest. With respect to P, P is at rest. Q is at rest. With respect to P. Okay. Yes. So the next one. Next one, see that here first we compare the motion of the bus with respect to ABC. Okay. Like that, the next one we can compare the neutrons with respect to the bus. Oh. Okay. Now, now just you are traveling in the bus. Some pupils are standing outside the bus, I mean the bus stop. So when you cross that numbers, when you cross that numbers, what do you feel? Actually you are moving. But what you feel? They are moving back same. They are moving back same. Because you are moving in front, they are moving in back same. So that only again something else. So now in this example, now you are comparing the bus and Speakers. See that. So, the ABC in motion, the ABC in motion, with respect to the people in the bus. Okay. So, this kind of comparison will be known as there is a motion in a relative curve. Okay. Because so we have to relate something. Okay. How we can say this motion? We have to relate something. Okay. So, this is the basic thing for motion in the state. Okay?